come take a look through the orange lens, my friends. Use force, folks. Positive mental attitude. And balance, right? It's not fake it till you make it. It's grow until you flow. That's the song I'm singing anyway. You can sing whatever you like. Um, so, uh, yesterday, um, I spoke about work ethic, right? About working hard. And about, you know, when I work, I work hard. And I did mention laziness, but I was focused on the working hard. So, today, in true form of balance, I thought I would share with you my times where I haven't been working. All right? I've had like two, like year and a half, two year bouts where I was signing on. Um, and then there was like a couple of year periods sort of either side of them where I was just, I wasn't really feeling very happy and I didn't want to go to work, you know? Um, Cause I've never really cared about money. I've never, the things I care about, you literally can't buy. I mean, maybe in a way, Bitcoin kind of gets you there, but you know, it's, not really. Um, real talk though, like, um, you know, the things I care about, you, you can't buy them. And, and sometimes in the past, I've struggled to accept things around me that are totally contradictory to all the things I really care about. Um, so I've had some hard times, like, where I've been, like, fucking depressed, right? My mum dragged me to the doctors once and got me fucking signed off as depressed. And they were like, you know, right, you can go on this course of drugs now or you can go on a waiting list and uh, get some counselling. And I was like, well, I'm not taking no drugs. And my mum was like, yeah, counselling would definitely be better. Because um, she knows they tried to give me Ritalin and I threw that shit in the bin. <laughs> I ain't putting nothing in me, man. If I got a headache, I tend to have some water. But I don't often get headaches. Anyway, let's not sidetrack. I'm owning up to all my laziness and all of my, like, you know. Um, so, part of the reason why I'm, I'm actually sharing this side of it is not just to be honest, but it's also a demonstration of how, like, what we choose us to be, we are. Right? And it, it, it can be really corny and cheesy when you just say, you know, what you think you are. Right? But the reality of life is that within two weeks, two months, 13 days, you can turn your situation around. You can turn your mindset around, get motivated, activated and focused enough for a short period of time that kicks you out of the situation you're in whether it's a mindset whether it's a you know a feeling whether it's a, a situation you know so so i have been lazy right and take the speech marks away i've been lazy right um it's not as easy just admitting to your flaws is it you know uh because especially like when i work on myself um I pride that in myself and I get annoyed at the times where I didn't. I don't hold on to that, but it then just sort of, oh, I don't, I'm like, oh, but you know, here we are. Um, so, you know, there's been times where I've literally been like struggling to get out of bed, right? Struggling to go to a job that I wanted to go to because I was just too fucking unhappy. And, and to me, like looking forward, you know, more moving forward than, you know, looking back on things and learning from them. You know, it's always because really I didn't want to be there doing that. Um, you know, I've always wanted to input into changing society. It's just like, it, it feels like such a big daunting task that it's just like, fuck man, I can't even deal with that shit. I've just got to fucking do what I can do, right? And I've just got to look after myself, look after the people around me, and you get really fucking good at that, right? And it's fucking awesome, and I ain't hating on no one for doing that. Or myself, right? But there comes a time, and we're in it. <laughs> and we've been in it, right? I'm not one of these people that believes, like, the troubles have just turned up. Oh, my God, look at what's just... No, this shit's been going on. You know, like I say to people, or I have been recently... 
is we're the children of yesterday. Don't think the manipulation they're doing today, they didn't do to us. So let's fix up, look sharp, right? Big up Dizzy Rascal. Uh, but seriously, let's do that. Let's let's go, all right, what is mindfulness meditation, right? What like It's not sitting there silent. It's about practicing being in the moment of awareness and honing that even more. And it's deeper than that and wider than that. And the spirit, depending on where you get these teachings, is depending on what other things will be added or taken away from it. But fundamentally, it's that practice. Um, and, you know, neurolinguistics, right? Let's take back our minds. Let's find what we want to retrain for us, just because we think, you know, I want to be better. I, I don't want to be defeated by society to a point where I don't have the fucking strength in me to stand up and say something, let alone the actions that are needed to be taken. You know, the risks, the unknowns. You know, you know as much as you can, but there's always unknowns, right? Who knows what the Bitcoin drop will be, right? It'll drop, right? I think from what I'm hearing from the people that know what they're talking about, right? Links all up in the description, right, by the way, right? There's a whole Bitcoin section. Starts off with the Orange Peel podcast. Big up them guys. Um, and it goes down and there's people like BTC Sessions and, you know, uh, Coin Bureau, um, all sorts of people you know there's a couple of audio books down there there's also like russell ba russell brand's page there and i'm gonna like add different things as i'm like watching something and i'm like oh yeah yeah i want to share this with people i'm gonna actually add the links into the description below um and and we're gonna we're gonna do it like that so uh i'm i'm why why are you over there like there's a little it's just down there and you go tippity tap the tap 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 that like button for us right help me get through the algorithm so people can talk to me and people can tell me whether they agree or disagree with me right and, and how they do and, and what we can do about that right like if, if because the way i look at things is if if i am shown significant information you know uh my perspective is widened i move with that However, you know, words rarely do that, right? Words can be said. Anyone can say anything, you know? I could just be saying a whole load of words, but I believe in the way I am bringing myself to you all. I'm doing it so... Let's just check the time there. Uh, I'm doing it so openly. And, and I'm being totally me. And I've got, like, open social media, right? You can troll, figure me out, data grab me any which way you like. It's easy, right? Um, and I'm not fussed, you know, whether whether there's good or bad people looking at my shit, if you want to put it like that. Perspective, right? Perspective. You know, just chucking them up there late. Um, but, um, you know, so look, there's been times in my life where I've been too down because I've allowed myself to consume myself, right? And this is the real honest point of it that I've never really shied away from too much. It's just I allowed myself to do it because I felt so bad I wanted to feel worse, <laughs> right? And I had that shit tattooed on my arm, right? In fact, it was actually one of the first major, I was about 20, what was I, 27, 20, 20, 20, yeah, I can't remember how old I was when I got that. I was in my mid-late 20s, 27, 28, 29. And it was just after getting that that you, the universe was just like, oh, really? Oh, you're really PMA, are you, bro? Pow! Let's see how you can deal with some heavy shit. <laughs> Honestly, like, I look at life like lessons, right? I always say this, and I, to me, there's this relationship between me and, like, universal consciousness, which, you know, on some deep ass level, I think we all have. Um, and everything around us, though, it's like fucking Avatar. Like, that's my view on life, right? If you want to get into the freaky workings of what I pretty much think is the most... Like, I think avatars like us, I think really, maybe that's a bit more, you know, drummed up for film. But along them lines, that's what I feel, you know? And someone came to our planet 
or, or, or like we're the descendants of the people that came to this planet, right? All of us that bleed red. Who knows? Because none of us really know. But anyway, what's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Everything. But um, I, I was just sidetracking. Um, you know, I have been lazy to the point of arguing about going to the shop, like I said yesterday. But I've also been lazy to the point of emotional pain. And this is something I learned when it hit me that I'd never given anyone enough compassion for. Sure, I, I'd be compassionate, but I was a lot more like pre-feeling that. I was a lot more like just hard and I got, I suppressed enough feelings that I could just bowl through them, right? You know, because I'd pre that depression, like, because I'm talking about like this particular phase, right? Pre that depression, I'd been like off of self awareness for like, you know, a good few years. You know, I'd been getting over a broken heart, which had like reinstigated some self awareness stuff I'd done when I was younger, and she challenged me in a way that was fucking, it was beautiful. I loved it. And it, and it made me get back in touch with, like, that, that side of me that was more thoughtful. Because I'd been fucking angry, you know? And she, like, knocked me out of it. I was just something like, boom, love. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I don't need to fucking get angry at everything. <laughs> um, but, you know, after breaking up with her, and that was, like, my first love. I'd lost my virginity to her, 19, right? Um, and uh, And I came out of that just, like, fucking i was sort of calm because we'd had a rocky last year it was like um you know i'd broken up with her she'd broken up with me it'd been some shit but i was still like my heart was wrenched i was just looking to like fucking suppress some shit so um you know that's what i did i partied hard for six years but i found drum and bass and drum and bass led me to writing lyrics and that's the biggest blessing i've ever had it's the biggest fucking it's the biggest um therapy that you'll ever go through is your own writing like if you just sit and write shit out right try and just do it in any which way you write right if it feels to you like you want to write a story that encapsulates what you've been through to try and sort of you know make some sense of it just get it out on the paper you're not trying to make sense of it while you're doing it like sure there's some people that try and do that and say they do it really well and that's cool but I think one of the best ways of learning, especially about yourself, is to experience and then look at it. Like, try and you know, be aware while you're experiencing, but experience and then look at it. And the more you do this, the more you are like able to be more aware in the moment, you know, and you can make the changes that you need when you realise, oh, shit, I've been down and a bit lazy for a bit too long. I haven't even written lyrics in six months. I've just been watching the TV. Huh? Fuck, how did I get into that? Right, that was me at like 20, 28, 29. I couldn't believe it, you know? And, uh, and I turned some shit around. I saved. I got a computer. Um, I got my first computer that I got for myself and got some, you know, I ended up having to write some really shit beats myself because I was struggling to get hold of any beats. The internet wasn't quite what it is, and I hadn't even inter been introduced to what it was then. <laughs> um, and so I made this shit beat, one of my first songs called From the Cradle to the Grave. Uh, and that was controversial, man. I was talking about, like, you know, growth, but, like, you know, the 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 you know, sort of criminal element of government and how, you know, we need to rise up. It was fucking, I've got it on a hard drive somewhere. <laughs> um, but the point is, in every moment, there's a chance for a new moment. Every single one, from the morning to the afternoon to the evening, we've got the choice not to just have a shit day just because it started bad. Oh, it comes in threes, does it? Does it have to? Three's a pretty good number, though. Anyway, we're up on that time pretty much, my friends. So I'm going to bid you a farewell. Don't let laziness get the better of you. Don't let your determination grow your ego either. Stay humble. Use the force. Positive mental attitude. Be kind with your thoughts to yourselves like you would for others. Keep loving your hearts for yourselves like you would for others. And let's get it. Get what, John? Awareness, of course. Peace in.